Brandon, the RV Guru, here with Mr. Motorhome, and today we're bringing you a 94 Fleetwood Bounder, the most recognizable name in a Class A RV. Who doesn't know the Kangaroo? This has been the best-selling motorhome on the market for decades, and today I'm here to show you exactly why. Come back to the sign here. A couple of things that Fleetwood does differently that you'll notice is full vacuum bonded sidewalls. And what that is, is you've got fiberglass that's laminated to a back piece of wood, and then it's sandwiched with brick foam insulation. So you're not going to have, you know, the blown insulation that's going to settle over time and lose all of your insulation properties. Take a look at this. A couple of things that make this really nice is you've got this very large window awning. And so you can bring that out when it's nice and sunny. That's going to help cool down the inside of your coach and protect the inside from those UV rays. Not to mention, you've got uh, tempered glass. This is full tempered safety glass. So a kid could throw a baseball at this thing and it's not going to shatter. Look at the size of your storage drawers. These things are huge. You've got easy access handles here. The front one's going to be a huge 4,000 watt Onan generator. You've got these two very large storage doors. And because it's a Bounder, Bounder was very known for having pass-through. Come on to the back. Tag axle, and this is just to give you additional support. You don't want something this long with a single axle, because what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to support the weight. Again, you've got that second window awning. More storage in the back, guys. You've got a ton of storage in this thing, and that's always a premium for our beers. Full walk-on rack ladder. Take a look up there. That's a full backup camera. So you can turn that on when you're backing up. Sometimes backing up, you know, a guy like this, you're going to need that. And it's in great shape. You can see all your decals are still in good shape. They're not really peeling or cracking. No delamination. Look down the side of this. Sometimes on the cheaper guys that don't vacuum bond their sidewalls, you get delamination. What that is is a waviness in your coach. And what, what it is is when your fiberglass actually separates from their wall, it really loses a lot of the structural integrity of that wall. Huge awning. And look, you've actually got a cover to help protect that vinyl from getting eaten by the sun. That's what you want. That's a sign of a quality coach. Whenever you see the metal awning cover, you know you're getting a good deal. Now come on into the inside. Welcome inside, guys. A couple things I want to point out real quick is Fleetwood Bounders were always known for giving you more options for less money. So take a look at a couple of your standard features right here on your dash. That's an automatic leveling jack system. It's push button. All you got to do is push that down and your jacks will come right out, level this thing. Now you don't have to worry about your refrigerator working improperly because you're off kilter a little bit. You're going to have a nice built-in television. A little spot where you can hook up your CD, DVD player. Comes with a cassette player, mm -hmm. VHS. Right here you've got a uh, crank up at TV antenna with boost. So if you're out in the middle of some place and you want to catch the latest golf game or maybe the sports game that's on the local television channel, you can crank this up, turn on your TV boost, and you've got your television right here. It's in a spot that's really easy to watch. You've got a great captain's chair here. Of course, all your furniture in a Fleetwood is going to be flex steel. And if you know anything about furniture, it's high quality stuff. You've got a lifetime warranty on all of your framework. A great table here. This would be perfect to have lunch on while you're traveling down the road. Or if you want, this, these chairs actually will swivel. So if you want to play a card game with your uh, neighbor, you can spread that all out. And then take a look. When Fleetwood built the Bounder, it was kind of made in sections. If you look up here, you've got two air conditioning units, a front and a rear. We come down one more level and all the way around. Take a look at this. It's all storage. Even in the back there, if you can catch a picture of that right in the bedroom, you have 360 degrees of storage. And these aren't small, guys. Take a look. This is a huge storage area. We come back a second layer, and you've got all the wraparound windows. A ton of windows, and you have to have a very strong sidewall to be able to put windows in this big. You can imagine, if you had a really weak sidewall, like in some of the cheaper products, 
what would happen is, just from the flex of the coach over time, these windows would actually bow out. You know you're getting a quality product when you see windows this large. Now this here is going to be a full height of bed. This makes that right into a bed. Super easy to put down. You've got a bed for your company here. We come back to the back. Your dinette's also going to make out into a bed. A couple things I want to show you here. If we can actually pull this out. Maybe not. What the hell is oh, this? Oh, yeah. It's actually got the suspension underneath it, just like the bed do for support. And look at all that storage. Oh, wow. Man, you know, they just don't make them like they used to. In fact, almost everybody nowadays is going to have that particle board back end. That's right, Mitch. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen Grandma and Grandpa fall through those particle board <laughs> rears. This will make down into a bed. It's super easy to put down. Right here's your stove. If we pull this off, you've got a great three-burner stove. Your front one's going to put out more BTUs, so that's one you'd want to use when you're boiling your pasta. Above here, you've got a nice... Very large microwave. It's not going to be one of those really tiny ones that you'll see in the travel trailers that maybe all you could put in there was, you know, a, a little bag of popcorn. Full size oven. Doesn't look like it's got a, a whole lot of use at all. Full size refrigerator and freezer. This is going to be a Dometic made here in America. We've got nice travel locks to keep the kids out of them. And then as we come to the back, this is, a, and actually it's, it's a separate ice maker. So if you just wanted to make ice for your drinks, and if you guys are campers, you know how important that is, you can come right back here, scoop it out, and there you go. Nobody likes dirty socks, and whether you're at the beach and you've got some uh, dirty shorts, or you just need to freshen up a couple pairs of slacks, you can put those down here. <laughs> well, let's hope that they don't have dirty shorts. Man. Hey, Mitch, I meant Sandy. You know what I meant. <laughs> come on back to the bathroom, guys. You've got a full vanity here, so you can brush your teeth, shave, you've got some nice cover space in the back, full-size toilet, and then you've got, if we open this up, a full-size bath and shower. The bath is great if you had little ones, three or four-year-olds, or even pets, you can get in there and wash them. Especially if they need to change their shorts. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to live this one down, am I? <laughs> now come on back to the master suite couple things that are really cool. Take a look at this. You've got a second entry. So you can actually close this door. See it, Mitch? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you still be able to get in and out of the coach. Oh, nice. What's nice about this is it's also a safety feature. Now, let's say, you know, in case of an emergency, you had to get uh, make a quick escape. Instead of having to go all the way through the front of the coach, you can get out right here. You're not diving out one of your egress windows, you're opening up a door and walking out. Now come on to the back. Look at the room you have here. Now just to get around, you notice you're not scooting around this. A lot of times they'll pack this right against a cupboard like this and so you're doing the shuffle when you've got to get up in the middle of the night and it's not fun. You still get a ton of wardrobe space. Full size closet. Of course you got your TV. And then a second vanity. You've got a his and hers vanity, so one person can be shaving in here, and the other person can be occupying the bathroom. And uh, there's no conflict. And of course, you've got your second air conditioner. It's a private AC for the back. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. I'm Brandon, the RV Guru, and I'm here at Mr. Motorhome. Feel free to give me a call, 209-614-0923. Thanks, guys.